What's up, it's Paul from Guitar World, and today is something special because I'm having, once again, one of my favorite recurring guests at the Guitar World show here, and I feel like it's almost like it is a show because you've come on so many times so that I can actually call you a recurring guest. You guys are gonna start charging me rent. That's true. Okay, well, I have Adam Reaver from FU Tone here once again, and Adam is going to show me the latest in the FU Tone goodies that he's brought with us uh, today. And so I'm looking, actually looking forward to see what's new. Not a tremolo in sight though. Normally when I'm with Adam, it's usually something to do with a locking tremolo. But as you can see, I brought one of my personal Les Pauls with me, as well as we have a few others that we're gonna try, but this is something entirely new and as I would like to say, entirely exciting. So take it away, Adam, tell me what's new. I brought you the new FU Tone Stop Bar Tailpiece and Tunematic Bridge mm. made of 100% brass. Okay. So it looks like this, it smells like it, it tastes like it, it just doesn't sound like this. So basically it's, it's almost like a, it's an instant Easily replaceable swap. Dead easy drop in replacement. Drop in. All we'll do is intonate it. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. It's just going to sound completely different and look exactly the same yeah. as it does now. So, one of the big things, I, as I, of course, I always remember a lot of, of, of what you would consider the you know, tone comes from, like, say, the brass, which is one of the big things of, of, of your company where you, where you basically replaced all the brass, um, the brass uh, bridge. I always look for the weaker components made of weaker materials right. and just try to replace them with better sounding materials, right. brass, copper, titanium. Yep. So every, we've covered a lot of the tremolo world, strat trims, yep. locking trims. Everyone said, what are you gonna do something for stop towels? Here it is. Yeah, like I said, usually it's the big trem blocks and then mostly a lot of the guy, a lot of converts love changing their existing trem block to a brass block and they notice, as, as I've noticed, an incredible uh, a credible improvement to your tone by using brass. And so now here we are removing these, the stop bar tailpiece and the two pneumatic, and now replacing them with a the brass. With that, we should allow everyone to hear what my stock stop bar and tailpiece sounds like. And then later on in the video, we'll let you hear what it sounds like now with the brand new brass. We'll right? do them both. We'll do them both, right? So that's pretty good. It's gonna be hard Sounds to great. Beat, right? Sounds great. So let's get a little gain on this here with the Awesome. Very less poly. <laughs> Very less poly. All right, let's uh, switch it out. Let's try um bring my other Les Paul in. Everyone loves this Les Paul classic. Vintage. Super clean. So let's try the same thing. Here we go. Definitely more volume on this one. More output. Definitely brighter sounding. Here we go.
Killer. There we go. All right, well, it's gonna be hard to beat that. We'll see how it sounds now with the... Challenge accepted. Here we go. The install is dead simple. Yep. It's your tunematic bridge. Yep. Drops right on the posts. We have new posts as well. And the stop bar goes right in the back. Intonation screws. So you set your intonation pretty yep. much where you are, and then we'll, we'll double check it with the tuner once we get on there. Right, got it. Yeah, so basically you approximate it where, where you got it before and then drop it in and then we'll fine tune it right after. Absolutely. Yeah, great. Here we go. Let's do this. back here we are i have this outfitted with fu tones stop tail and the tunematic all in brass you can see nice how shiny it is now the first thing i'm going to do which is really important i think is as always with the when you did it with your brass blocks is you hear it automatically acoustically like listen to that ring it's like it sparkles right yeah. it's just like it's got that wow so well, let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. We have it plugged in again, and uh, I'll kind of approximate what I did before. Here we go. It's already louder, like super loud already. Wow. And I didn't turn up the volume, that's the thing. I didn't even get to the distortion. I want to hang with the clean. I dig this. All right, here we go. Wow. Oh my God. I love your reactions every is, time we do this. This is crazy. Like, listen to that. It's like it just slices. It's just like. So you, you just heard how smooth that was, right? That was crazy. I didn't even like it didn't even break up. It was just like it just went right from there to feedback. <laughs> Sustain. Yeah, really. <laughs> I think I just did the Nigel there for a minute. I could do like a, let it sit down. I'll go off for a cup of tea. Uh, amazing. Wow. Like, but like I said, you heard it just acoustically. Just how loud that is. Like 
feeling a little high, but. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Everything just just blows up here. Great. Well, let's move on to the other one. Let's see, let's see where we're at. This is cool. Wow. That's an instant, that's an instant upgrade. I love I his so reactions. Myself. Wow. Every time. It's amazing. All right. So same thing. Just this one's a little smoother, but louder just as well. Wow. And of course, same thing, brass, chrome plated. Yep. So looks the same. Looks the same. But it's uh, brass under the hood. Brass under the hood. Like it just brings the mid-range on this guitar out even more, because this is definitely a more mid-rangey guitar than the other one. But listen to that. <laughs> Happy? Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. So what can I say? I mean, wow, this is this is definitely an upgrade to both guitars. You hear it, and you hear it acoustically as well. So I would recommend if you're Les Paul sounding a bit anemic, needs a little bit of life, a little bit of. I'm going to say if your Les Paul sounds great to begin with. Yeah, well there you further. go. Further. Now you can you want to kick it up a notch. Then this is what you need: the the sop tail and the tunematic. Brass, right? From that few tone. I mean, the whole concept behind everything I do is it hits the string, hits this, it vibrates. This amplifies the vibration. Yeah, I mean, that's it's it. Just, yeah, I highly recommend it. And I'm just sitting here right here, not because I'm standing next to you, but it sounds great. <laughs> the truth is, this is what the pros all use. So yeah, yeah. it's not like it's not like I'm, you know, it's like a, like you're some hack. You, 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 <laughs> I think you know what you're doing. <laughs> But listen to that. I mean, like, listen to how how present. <laughs> it's doing something new. I'm almost. Ex I'm, I think I'm almost as excited as like Phil X and some of his videos are. <laughs> Phil's get, super excited. Yeah, and he's always excited. He gets so enthusiastic. I feel I kind of kind of like borrowing a little bit of his energy here. That's so, so, it's pretty great. Salute you, Phil. Yeah, I want to go, yeah, this is great. Anyway, yeah, F you tone. What can I say? You heard it for yourself. Amazing. Definitely check it out, as I would say.